Okay, hello. It is um, my last few days here in Nepal and I was told to check out Bhaktapur. So here I am on the roof of my homestay that I found on booking.com. It's a new place. Uh, Seven dollars a night. I think that's pretty good and we're here on the roof right now. My uh, guess he just told me that this is the sleeping Buddha mountain you can see it looks like a head and um, the body there looks like it's about to rain today too so I will have to make this fast maybe and then over here is the other side That is the square down there where I will be going today. And we can do some hiking up there as well. All right, now I will show you my room. Let's go see the room. As long as I don't kill myself on these stairs. This is the room, pretty, pretty standard, pretty good. If you go outside, some guys uh, playing card games. <laughs> and then we have bathroom. Again, pretty, pretty standard, pretty good. Okay, let's lock the door. Good. Door is locked. I will go now to try some yogurt. King curd? King curd. Something like that. Local yogurt. Okay. He said he was trying to do an entrepreneur in video, but he also was staying in my video. Yeah, this isn't really a hotel, exactly. Uh, it's a homestay. No, you can think that's fun. Real quick. Okay, let's try some yogurt. Uh, why you hit him? Homestay owner told me to try some yogurt here at this blue shop. So that's what I will do. Hello, namaste. Namaste. Do you have uh, yogurt? Yes. King curd? Yes, of course. I was told I have to try. Yeah, of course. I will go over here. Whew. Oh, is that the yogurt? Good? Pots, just like chai. There is yogurt. Yogurt. Oh, just like Dairy Queen. Yeah. <laughs> it's sweet, earthy. You like yogurt. Oh, but you're eating cookie. Oh, you had yogurt too. Very popular local dish.
That yogurt was pretty good. I would recommend it if you are here. King curd. King curd, I don't know exactly what he said. But it was only 50 rupees. And then the entrance fee for the Bhaktapur Square is uh, 1,500 rupees. So let's go inside. You will punch my ticket. Yes, okay. Oh, hello. Good. I'm ready to explore. Let's see. Exciting. Okay, so I know jack all about where we're at, but as usual, I'm not gonna pay a guide to show me around because I don't think that's ever worth it. It's not like I remember what they told me anyways. And I got all the information I need right here in this pamphlet, even if I don't remember what's in the pamphlet either. Actually, the, the hotel owner, homestay owner that I'm staying at, he did tell me that um, one of the pagodas across here, the tallest one, which you can't see anymore because there's buildings in the way. He said it was from the 17th century and it survived the 2015 earthquake. I don't actually know how old the rest of this stuff is. Well, it looks pretty old to me. Mainly what I want to see here is um, there's some kind of pottery temple or something. I don't really know what, but I think they do some sort of classes. I met I, uh, I met a woman in Pokhara who told me that she did like all kinds of classes here in Bhaktapur. She was the one who told me to come to Bhaktapur. She said there was, I don't even remember now, some kind of art class and maybe the pottery class as well. She said there was like three different kind of classes. So I'm going to try to figure out where the hell they are because right now I'm walking around doing nothing like an idiot. I have no idea where I'm going. But that's my favorite way to travel. You just start walking. So I guess... I guess I can get back to you when I find the pottery. This is the 17th century pagoda that I was telling you about just a few seconds ago. It's the tallest one here in Bhaktapur Square. And I think he said the oldest as well, but I don't remember. So I rejected guide offer because the pamphlet I assumed would tell me something and it really doesn't. All it says is that there is good architecture and good statues of deities and protectors. Nevertheless, I'm not going to pay a thousand rupees for someone to tell me some stuff that I don't remember or I won't remember. Looks like that one's under construction. Let's go up top and see. And uh, ruin people's photos. Oh, vaccine! Oh, very crowded.
of all the action. According to my map, I'm at the art, art museum right here. Does this look like an art museum to you? Oh, I'm so confused. Some guy just ran up here. anything can pass for art these days. So now according to my map, there's 55 window palace. I will not get in the way of your photo. Hello. 
No, whoops. No photos. Bye bye. Okay, well, that was a bust. This palace here. I walk in, I turn the corner, and immediately greeted by no photo signs, no photo or video inside or outside. And I'm not even allowed inside the temple at all. Only Hindus allowed. So I don't even know why they let me walk in that gate there if I could only walk an extra 30 feet around the corner before being stopped. This doesn't make any sense. But now I think I know the way to Pottery Square. And after that, I don't know what else there is to see here. These squares in uh, Nepal I found, I pretty much just walk around them for like an hour and then I'm done looking at everything. Probably because I'm not actually reading up on any of the history, but um, I don't know. That's usually how it goes. Hello! Oh, hello! No! <laughs> ah! Very entertaining. Okay. Anyways. So my past few weeks here, I am usually just walking through places just to look at them and then leave. Like yesterday, I was in Kortipur and I didn't have my GoPro with me. But I walked several kilometers around looking for temples and statues and really it was the journey that mattered more than the destination because I didn't care about the destination. So hopefully Pottery Square will be a little bit more exciting. Oh my god, look at that dog. That was the smallest, cutest dog I've ever seen. Hello doggy. Hello doggy. <laughs> You are a cute dog. Oh, hello. Pottery Square. I found it. It's pots. I don't understand. Where is everybody making the pots? Oh, I'm from America. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, namaste. You're making pots. Okay. This is what I came to see. Can I film? I want to see how you make. You make all these out of clay. Ooh. Special clay. What's special about it? Number one. Number one? <laughs> okay, I'll take your word on it. So these are these are all made of clay? And then you make these? Oh. Yes, very nice. Sorry? Oh, try. Yes, sure. I don't... How? <laughs> what do you mean try? I will try. I don't know what I'm trying. <laughs> me. Me, try. Oh, he's spinning. That's what I came to see as well. <laughs> Alright, what do I do? Family. I would like to, yes. <laughs> oh. No, I've never done it before. <laughs> I'm very confused. Oh, okay. Sure, sure. Okay. okay. All right. 
Who wants to be my camera woman? Um, bad photographer. That's okay. You just have to hold it. <laughs> All right. Is already start or is? Yes, already, already filming. Yeah, yeah. But nothing is in display. It's okay. It's okay. All right. What hey. do you do? Water. Oh, take, take the water. Water. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm too tall for this. <laughs> I can't. Be careful with the knees. All right. Yeah. Hold it. Okay. Yeah. This is my first time doing this. Really? I don't. Uh... Oh. <laughs> I broke off a piece. Oh. No. No. Take water. No, no, put it back. Take water. <laughs> And hold it properly. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. I it's have no idea up. how to shape it though. Where are you from? America. Oh. Okay, I'm putting a hole in here. I don't know what I'm making, but I'm making something. <laughs> You gotta keep adding water? Yeah. Water smoother it. So it will be oh. easy to make it. Oh, how did you do that? <laughs> ah, it's going to break, I think. <laughs> That's okay, it adds character. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we will give it... Uh... I think it's going to be a glass. Uh, or some, a, kind of, some kind of bowl or, or something. Yeah, or something about it. I don't, I don't know. Let's see if I can flatten this bottom. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's, <laughs> okay. it's going to break. Your base is small, so. You slow it down. Oh, uh, just take out the foot. My foot is off. <laughs> it's still going. This is very exciting, though. <laughs> Oh, you come to see a professional at work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just watch him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's fine like that. It's a little goblet. Yeah. You like? Okay. I think it's good. <laughs> no, cut it. Good, good. Very good. Hey, you stop it. <laughs> no, we have to cut it. Cut? Yeah. Oh, you just... Oh. No, cut it from the thread. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. At bottom. No, at your. No, I want the base. No, you want base? Yeah, it's the flat base. <laughs> okay, then cut it. How else is it gonna stand? <laughs> then cut you it. You need base. Maybe I make it too uh, too thick. But this is fine. Ah, uh, it's perfect. <laughs> now what? No, take it slowly. I don't wanna ruin it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now what? It's water goblet. <laughs> you have to you know, put it in a kiln or something? Yeah. First oh. we will dry it and put it in the kiln. Dry right. it. We will put it. Where do we dry it at? Yeah. At ocean. <laughs> okay, what do I do? Now you put it on sun dry. Sun dry? Yeah. Oh, how long does that take? Mi minimum two to three days. Two to three days? Yeah. Oh no. I'm leaving in two or three days. Uh. <laughs> this is fine like this though. I will just pretend like I finished it and uh, you can uh, have it back and smoosh it down. <laughs> it's okay. I will pay you for it though. But uh, you can take it back. Alright, where do I... Come here, you can wash You are too tall. Too tall. Too tall. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome.
is a small camera, right? Yes. Uh, Go GoPro. Seven forty-five. Oh, okay. Perfect. <laughs> it's okay? Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Due to my hand, the stick has no bit dark. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being a great, great camera. Owner. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, I didn't finish it because it would take too long, but I had fun in the process. Well, I pretty much saw everything I wanted to see, at least in the main Durbar Square. Not to be confused with Durbar Square and Kathmandu. I thought Durbar was like a proper name, but if there's a Durbar Square in Kathmandu and a Durbar Square in uh, Bhaktipur, then I'm sure there it, it actually is just a word. It means something. But anyways, I um, was failed entry into the Hindu temple. Oh, hello. My what are Manish. your kids doing? I'm Manish. Your name is? My Manish Taman. Your Manish? Money. Money. My money. Your money? Oh, okay. You're a rich little kid, huh? My money is. You have money too? Wait, did I make video? Yeah, I make video. No, no. Oh, okay. No. Too shy, too shy. No, no, no. No, 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 sorry. Okay. Only, yeah, your money, my video. Um, <laughs> yes, so I was rejected entry to the Hindu temple. There was no art museum, and I got to sort of make a pot. And I saw all the temples and statues. I don't think there's much else to do in the square. There is some hiking around here that I want to check out later. Yeah, like I was trying to say earlier, I mean, uh, kind of when you when you start to see it all, it's not that exciting to see it anymore. I kind of just prefer, I like walking there. I like the journey, especially when it's quite a hike. And um, they need to clean up their garbage here, as always. back in the Durbar Square, my very last day here, and my last day in Nepal as well. It's a lot less crowded today. I found out it was so crowded the other day because it was Saturday, and Saturday is a holiday here in Nepal. Everybody has Saturday off, so that's why it was so busy. Now on a Monday, it's pretty much empty. It doesn't help that it's uh, raining. Only a light drizzle though. And I found the art museum too, right there. I walked past it probably three or four times. Um, and yesterday I also found the bronze museum and the one carving museum. And that was nice to check out. So today I will look at the art museum, but it doesn't open until 10 and it's 8.30. So for now, I'm just chilling, hanging out here in the Durbar Square. It's a lot more peaceful now without crowds of people. I like it. It's a good vibe. And the rain really helps. The rain, the rain's a good vibe. Nice, gentle rain. It's nice. All right, so check this out. When I came to India in Nepal, I needed a converter. And I got this three-prong one. It works perfectly fine. And so far, I've only needed this. I also got a two-prong one. I ended up never needing it. But sometimes, 
Things like the fan in this room are two pronged. Now what I don't understand about the two prong one is it doesn't doesn't stick in there. Like like okay look, it's it's in there, but it's not actually in there. This is how it turns on. If I let go, it turns off. I don't, I don't understand why, why it doesn't stay. There's, I'm not using any force, any tension to, to pull it out. It just falls out. The three prong one, it sticks. And you have to, you have to actually pull on it. I don't get it. So, now actually, the last two days I've been in here, I can get it to turn on and then let go and it'll stay on. But for whatever reason, today it's not doing it. So, <sighs> this is, uh, this is how I do it. Something like that. Oh, and now it's not working. Oh, here we go. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen? You have to jerry-rig the cord in order to keep it in there in order to get it to turn on. It doesn't make any sense to me. If you're coming to India in Nepal, get a three-prong converter. The two-prong one is a little crap. 